Hey, what is going on guys? Mosk and Carol come back to another anime adventures video. Now I've been seeing all of your requests guys. You guys really wanted me to continue the series. I know I was posting a lot of showcases and a lot of uh, information videos about the new update and stuff, but we're finally back on some more Noob to Mythical. Now guys, if this is your first time watching my Noob to Mythical series, I highly do suggest you guys do go watch the series from episode one. I'll leave a link in the description of this video, or you guys can click the top right side of your screen right now. And it's just so you get caught up with the series and you're not lost and you know what's going on. Now guys, right off the bat, I can finally, finally, finally do a challenge. I can finally do a challenge. But before we get into this, I just wanna move on to the comment challenge now guys the comment challenge in the last episode was to guess my favorite mythic unit in the game now the answer to this comment challenge is drumroll please oak carrier oak carrier or oak oak carrier i don't know how to pronounce his username but so guys, shout out to Ghost1234 for getting this right and he will be pinned on that video now. Now, if you guys want a chance to be pinned on this video and get a shout out in my next video, then make sure you guys answer the comment challenge for this video and... Oh, I haven't even said it yet. So anyway, the comment challenge for this video is to guess my favorite legendary unit. Legendary unit. Legendary, not mythic, legendary. This one should be pretty easy. I'm, this, yeah, this one should be very, very easy. There's only a very little good legendary units or very little legendary units that are actually good. But then again, it could be it could be a legendary unit that I just like the character and not so that not so much that it's actually a good character, but the fact that I just like the anime character. So you, you never know. You never know. So make sure you guys go ahead and guess my legendary unit, my favorite legendary unit in the comment section down below for a chance to get pinned on this video and a chance to get a shout out in my next video. Now, guys, moving on. The banner has just changed a couple minutes ago and uh, we got a going in the banner. We got going. We got going. Gon is very, very, very cracked in like infinite mode, but I don't think he's going to be really good for story regardless, even if he's maxed out because when he's, when he's maxed out, he does about like average 50k, 55k every 20 seconds and he covers like basically the entire map or almost the entire map. That's not really worth it because he attacks every 20 seconds. That's not really, really worth it. Like his DPS is probably a lot lower than a lot of units, but it's just a fact. The reason what, what makes him good is the fact that he covers the entire map. For instance, Kaya, Kyote, I, I believe Kyote has like a better DPS than this guy, even though he deals more damage just because his SP is a lot lower but this guy covers the entire map so that's the only reason he's really really good so i don't i don't know about this legendary i probably won't go for him i don't i'm probably not going to summon anything so i'm going to go ahead and buy this summon ticket and i probably will actually go summon with the summon ticket how many summon tickets do i have okay i got one nah i'll just say i'll just save it i'll just save it so 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 guys where we left off last episode we left off with our units leveling up to 16, 12, and 15. We got Jorno last episode. He's not the best character. A lot of you guys told me that he's not really the best character. And some of you guys even told me to like only upgrade him up to like a specific point and then just leave him because that's where he's going to deal the most DPS and he's going to give you like the most bang for buck essentially. So thank you for telling me that tip and I'll put your name on screen, whoever said that. I just remember reading it, but I read these a while ago, so I don't really remember any usernames. So whoever said that, thank you so much. But for now, we're going to go ahead and use, not not use, we're going to go ahead and play the the challenge. And this is at three regen enemies. This should be very, very easy. We get some star fruits and stuff. Also guys, there's actually a glitch. You can actually jump through this wall. If I can manage to do it here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can actually jump through the wall. And I think we can go into the... Oh, never mind. I just jumped off the map. So we should be able to easily still do this because it's... Yeah, they have very little HP. This one should be very, very easy. So I was going to drop a speed wagon down there. I kind of want to get Bulma because she's going to be good for infinite. And I can't wait to get to our... Because I don't want to do infinite mode until we can get to wave 50. So I'm sure we can get to wave 50. So it's going to take a while, but it's fine. Okay, so next wave, I'm going to put down an air win or something. And then we should be fine. Oh, uh, actually, no, we do, we'll do Jorno. He's fun. Jorno's fun. Also, guys, I was reading a couple comments, and I'm just loving the tips you guys are giving me. It's really helped me out. And I remember one specific tip was, like, um, uh, the reason why I find it so difficult to do the missions is the fact that, like, my units are not leveled up. And there's actually a level requirement for the units that I did not read. I did not even see it. So thanks for, thanks for the tip. I put whoever said that. I put their name on the screen. So thanks so much. That is really going to help me out now. So now I kind of know. Like around what level? I, I actually still haven't seen it since, and I've been playing on my main account for a hot minute. I've been playing on my main account for a minute, and I still have not seen the um the level. Uh, oh snap! These guys are running. What am I doing? Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I'm gonna drop on Erwin. Okay, that Erwin should be enough. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Okay, we're gonna drop on some more Erwins. So Madara isn't too bad though. He's like the first mythical in the game. I'm pretty sure. Okay, now they're getting through, so this isn't good. Our right, Erwin should be enough to like take them out. But still, same time. So we're gonna go and place Madara here. And a couple of you guys told me to place Madara. Told me to put Madara on last. So I think I'll start doing that now. 
But I want to last and I'll place another Madara this way. M Madara definitely needs a buff because how are they going to do my character like that? It's like one of my favorite characters. How are they going to do him dirty like that? Let's max out these guys. So they're max now. Then we can maybe do the Airwinds a little bit. I want to get this one up to. So that we're, we're kind of relying on the Airwinds now because Madara is like choking. So I've got 10k. I'm going to upgrade this Madara. Oh, snap. Our Airwinds are not. Okay. Okay. You know what? We're going to have to place some Madara back here. Sorry, guys. We're going to play this Madara back here, and when the wave skips, we should upgrade him, and then... Imagine we fail this challenge. There's just no way we fail this. There's no reason for us to fail this. Madara is very slow, so I, I'm thinking that, like, even if I do do this... Okay, they don't have a lot of HP. I might, I might have to place Jono. We'll upgrade the Jono. I think Jono should be enough to deal with this. Yeah, Jono's enough to deal with this. Okay, I don't have to waste uh, 300. Oh, don't attack this one! Okay, yes. At least he, at least he auto-corrects himself. How are they all getting through? Madara, what are you doing? What is Madara doing? He's so slow. That's why he's not that good. Yeah, I think this is the upgrade they told me not to upgrade past. Why does he cost 6k for this? Okay, you know what? I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Wait, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, so Madara is kind of crap. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So we have, we cannot fail this. So I'm going to place a journal here. And then we're going to... Upgrade him up to this upgrade, and then we're gonna leave him. And then we're gonna place another one here, maybe one here. And then we're gonna upgrade him off to the specific upgrade, and then we're gonna leave him. Oh, the boss is regenerating. I forgot about that. This is not looking good. We need to upgrade this mana real quick. We're not doing too bad, but I could have done better. And I think we win. He's dead. There we go. Easy, easy. We get a little bit of XP from that, but it's cool. We got two blue star fruits, one, one green one, one epic. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, that was kind of easy. So now I have. What did I get from that? Ooh, 50 gems. Form a squad. I can't play with people though. That kind of sucks. And then I can't even do the challenge. Okay, the new challenge was in three minutes. I'm going to go ahead and quickly do the. um. What's this over here? I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do storm mode missions, but for now, let's see what we have. So we have one star remnant. I could actually, should I use this? Hmm, should I get a trait on my, I get a trait on my Erwin, cause I'll, I'll always use Erwin, no matter what. So I'm actually gonna use that on my Erwin now. Do, 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 do. All right, so I'm gonna use, yeah, I'm gonna use the star remnants on my Erwin, if I can find them. Use on him and hopefully I get something nimble, cause that, that's the only thing that's good with, um, Erwin, if you get nimble, what am I doing? If I get nimble on him or any, or even Godspeed, then okay, that's gonna be good. So reroll. Nimble three, let's go. Let's go. So that's really, really useful. That's gonna be really, really, really useful. This unit attacks faster. A lot faster now. Got nimble three. That is so good. That's almost as good as, well, not almost as good. I think, I think nimble three is a 50% uh, re reduction and Godspeed is 25% or 20%. I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys know, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. So I think Nimble 3 is a 15% reduction and Godspeed is a 20%, 25%, I'm not sure. I think it's 20% because maybe the Mythic, maybe a Mythic trait would be 25%. You know, I think it's 20% and then Divine makes it 25%. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Ooh, that Star Remnant was so worth it. All right, so let's go ahead and quickly do a mission now. I think I'm in Snowy Town, Snowy Town mission four. I should be able to... I sh Ooh, we have to kill a Kaza. Ooh, we have to kill a Kaza, guys. A Kaza. Ooh, I right, let's go ahead and select the start. This is gonna be so difficult. I hate doing this mission. Alrighty, boys. Come on. All right, speed wagon down straight away. This guys have a decent amount of HP, so hopefully this Erwin is OP. Now that we have this trait on him, um, we're gonna speed wagon down, and then we're gonna start placing the Erwins. I wanna place three Erwins before I do anything, and then I'm gonna have to do Jorno afterwards. Madara is is just for the boss only, because Madara is kind of trash, like even for story mode. All right, so place down one. Ooh, look how quick he's gonna be. I feel like, I feel like he's gonna end up being like eight, eight, eight point something seconds. So we get 50 more. I can place one more. So now place on another Erwin. We only need two in one location, so I'll place one more here. And we're gonna place a Jorno down. I'll place a Jorno here. And because he's like this, uh, the, the curve makes it so that his range is a little bit longer because they have to bend around corners and stuff. So let's go ahead and see back here with the Erwins. Okay, so the Erwins doing all right. Yeah, Erwins doing really good, really good, really good. Okay, cool. So now I think we're fine. We need, we need to upgrade these guys quickly. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below. I know I'm telling you guys to tell me a lot of stuff, but is it quicker to max out one speed cap first? Or upgrade one speed count until you don't have enough to do the next upgrade and then go in the next one. Or just do it one by one each like that. I'm not sure which is the fastest way to gain the most money while still upgrading your speed wagons. So let me know. Uh, I think I'm going to place another one. When I kill this one, I'll place another one down. 
I'll probably place the armor like back here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this. This, this. Because this is the way I just upgrade them. So we'll do it like this. The horses should be, corpse soldiers should be enough to take out all of them. So we're gonna place down another Jono. And then we're gonna upgrade. Okay, we can't upgrade anything. Okay, so we're, we're good for now, we're good for now. All right, so they're getting through, but they don't have much HP, so it's fine. So let's upgrade these guys quickly. Let's max out this guy. I can't, can't max that one out. And we'll just do a quick upgrade on these guys. Okay, we should probably start upgrading our Erwins now, so we don't fail. They're bleeding? Okay, so upgrade. Boom. Okay, we'll leave, we'll leave that one till next wave, but for now, let's just... So 202, okay, we need to start upgrading these elements. So 162, 1000, and then we'll do this one 1000. That should be enough to take out these guys. How much HP does this one have? 82, yeah, we're fine. Plus now we spawn on them quicker. Okay. So what I wanna do now is I wanna, okay, we'll upgrade this one fully. Nope, yeah, we'll upgrade this one fully. Then we we'll upgrade this to the this upgrade. Then we we'll do the same with this one. So a lot of them I seem to be getting through now. This isn't good, especially the really quick ones. Yeah, this isn't good. We need to upgrade air ones quickly. Upgrade air ones quickly. This is this is a bit of a risk. Ooh, I'm not too sure. This guy's really slow though. Okay, it's not really risky, but still. We can't let any more of these guys get past. Come on, hurry up. I want to get the buff as well. So I'll do this one, get the buff. All my speed runs are maxed. Okay, cool. So now we'll upgrade this one, get the buff on that, we'll get the buff on this. And then now we can start placing more of our... See this one? Oh, probably just go. So that's fine. We can do this. And then let's upgrade this one to that specific upgrade before the 6,000 upgrade. So I think that's upgrade four or three yeah it's, up, it's upgrade four now these guys just spawn every 11.5 seconds all right we'll get paid for this round and then now we can go to so get this one up to that and we'll go get this one up to this then when you, when you go to spring forth life i think what happens is it costs 6k and he gets like a less than 100 damage and his his a we circle becomes very tiny so i think that's the reason why people don't want to want to use him i could keep upgrading my airwinds but i think i'll Oh, the next upgrade for everyone is really going to be worth it. Then I can do get the buff done, and then now he does a lot of a lot more damage, and he's pretty quick. So I think I Marara, nah, okay. You know what? We'll place Marara anyway. I don't plan to max this Marara, but it's just the fact that he deals a lot of damage, and it's going to be good to take out the boss. Oh, placing all my units in one spot isn't very smart. So I think we're good so far. Yeah, we're very good. Okay, we're fine. So all these ones have the same buff. So we'll go this and we'll buffs. So 2,750 more and then we should be able to, yeah. Okay, now all our journals are to upgrade four. We'll just put up probably the best upgrade for journal. And then now we can buff everybody. And then we, we can do Madden now. But I do kind of want to max out one Aaron to see what his lowest. Okay, now we can sell these guys. So before this boss dies, I want to see what everyone's lowest. Um, actually, no, we'll just actually no, just just to play it safe, we'll upgrade Mada right here, and we're gonna use a buff. Dedicate your hearts, and hopefully he dies. Oh, he's moving quite quickly. Why is he running? Oh, hex no. Oh, wait, never mind. That was that was very easy. Yeah, that was very easy. I was about to be like, why is bro running? All right, good, 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 good. Okay, we got four flowers from that, which is nice. That felt so easy. Okay, so we're gonna claim this, and do we have any more? Okay, so we got tensions for that. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So now let's let's feed Erwin because we need to feed Erwin. I want to feed Erwin with these flowers because we're not gonna use these flowers or anything else. But I don't want. Okay, we feel Erwin to level twenty-one, just so he's a little bit more OP and stronger. I don't really need any of these other units to be stronger, but. Except for Jorno, because Jorno is like my best legendary right now. I know, sorry. <laughs> Erwin's my best legendary right now, and then there's Jorno. So right now, I need to save up for about a couple thousand more gems. A thousand more gems so I can get another legendary. And the next legendary I want to go for is... Actually, I'll leave you guys to guess. I'll leave you guys to guess. 
Uh, because the next legend I want to go for is really, really good. Uh, and I need you guys to guess. So we're going to do Summer Time Act 5. This demon with 20 eyes on his face. Okay. About to destroy you. Okay. Unit level 20 plus. Okay. This is where it says that. I never read this. I don't know if any of you guys also read this as well, but I never read this. So let's go ahead and select that and we'll go ahead and start. So we're going to do the same thing. Start off with Speedwagon, etc, etc, etc. Uh, yeah. So we're going to place another Speedwagon here. Alright, so now we place an Erwin. You guys already know the drill. Erwin down. And we should be able to place down another speed wagon. I'm just waiting for one of the. I think, yeah, one of them should die just before the wave switches. There we go. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't do it in time. Okay, so let's max out this last one. Let's start getting to move on. So we'll do this. Boom, boom. Do this upgrade. And then I want to upgrade one of these to at least this, the Dedicate Your Hearts upgrade, so I can now. Um, buff our units here. Okay, this one's getting difficult. This one's getting difficult. If both things go well, we should be fine. So let's start upgrading these journals. That's second one to that upgrade. I need to get two of these maxed, or two of these to the upgrade three, so then I can like rotate the buff between both of them. Yeah, everyone's just pretty much just carrying. They're going like up to here. So we'll go for this one and then we can use the buff. Let's, let's place more um, joiners down. Okay, I don't have enough for this last upgrade. So his max DPS right now is at the top. 8.8 .8 seconds. Let's go. Imagine that with God speed. Imagine this with God speed. It would probably be like 8 seconds. So this Erwin is technically a lot better than Madara already. Because he's, he's basically summoning units that deal 1,700 on one damage every 8.8 .8 seconds. And it's not even that like they have to be in range. The enemy doesn't have to be in range. He just constantly does every 8.8 seconds. So Mad so Erwin right now is a lot better than using maxing out Madara. If that makes sense. Because not only do they not have to be in range, but it's kind of like it's it's not single. T it's kind of like single target though. So it's kind of it's not really single target because it kind of oh it's different. It's hard to compare. It's hard to compare. But I, I all I know is that Erwin is a lot better because he's cheaper. 8.8 .8 seconds, that's crazy. Our Jonos aren't even doing anything. <laughs> Our Jonos aren't even doing anything. That's crazy. Nah, but that's actually insane. Our Jonos aren't doing anything. Everyone's carrying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Erwin is so cracked. Erwin with Nimble 3. Alright guys, a new banner spawned and as you guys can see by the chat, it is... <laughs> it, <yeah. laughs> it is... Meh. All my is alright. I don't like people saying it's trash banner, worst banner ever. It's so funny because all you see is Erwin just standing here looking around and then next thing you know, Erwin just runs off. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Whoa, how on the banner? The trash banner is so, so mid. All Might. <laughs> What's wrong with All Might? All, I thought All Might was a decent uh, mythic. I guess not. But anyway, let's go ahead and check this. Bruh. Yeah, this is trash as well. Yeah, yeah. That's Everything's trash. Everything is trash. Yes, but there's a challenge we can do. There's a challenge we can do. Fast enemies. Can we do this? Can we do this? I don't think anybody's going to want to play with me anyway. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. With the speedy guy spawned, so boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Everyone on base does how much damage? Okay, 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 okay. This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. This ain't good. Well, it's a good thing we got a nimble three, Erwin. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We're risking this, aren't we? Risking this big time. Okay. So now we're gonna place down the Jorno. I'm gonna place one right here. Okay, we need to upgrade these guys. No, 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 no. Don't die, don't die, don't die. This guy. Okay, nah, I think we fail this. There's just no way. Yeah, we fail. Journal here. 
Nah, GG, 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 GG. Uh, we're getting a little bit of XP for that, so I guess that was worth it. So guys, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below for more content or more Noob to Mythical episodes in the future. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Peace.